Matt Wilton. Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's Maguire program webinar. I hope that a lot of you will be able to to log in and watch this. We'll be able to give you a good briefing of what's going to happen on the next course coming up in in Newcastle, the 9th to the 13th of November. And we're also going to be speaking or listening to a few of the graduates of the programme and a few of their achievements. Some of them have been on the programme longer than others. One lad has only been on the programme a few months. So it'd be really good for you interested to be able to get get different opinions from people that have been on the program for different lengths of time. Now this webinar will be for about half an hour and if you've got any questions do fire them into the in, into the, into the questions into the question section and we'll go through them at the end okay but first of all just to start off with the fact that the Maguire program is for anyone who is willing to work really hard at this and probably is sick of the fact that they've had to deal with the stammer all of their lives. I know for me, I just wanted to learn how I could control it. But it doesn't matter if you're covert, which means you're very good at hiding it, perhaps. Perhaps you go through days where you struggle a lot. And perhaps you go through days where um, periods where you don't struggle at all and you're quite good at hiding it like I felt I was with certain words and sounds. So whether you're very severe or very mild, very overt or very covert, it doesn't matter. It might be a slightly different journey on the Maguire programme, but it still can be successful for you. But the most important thing is that you do it for yourself and you focus on yourself and not compare yourself to other people. There is people on the program that really struggle to say their name. And then there may be people on the program that you'd listen to and think, well, you don't stammer. You've not got a problem at all. Well, it's not like that. You know, we all know how it feels to have this affliction underneath, to wake up every day worrying about how we're going to get through speaking, even if we have good days. OK, now I'm going to pass you over and bring in Lisa Nealon, who's going to talk a little bit about the course. Lisa Nealon speaking. So tonight's webinar is ahead of the Newcastle course, which is happening on the 9th to the 12th of November in the Royal Station Hotel in Newcastle. It's a venue the programme's used for many years. It's very central. It's literally right on the station. And it's brilliant for us um, as a programme because it's just a, a great venue who know us well. As, so you'll have a brilliant time if you come along. So I just want to go through a little bit about the structure of the course, really. So what happens on a Maguire course? Well, we start on a Wednesday evening, so you will arrive at the hotel in plenty of time to get booked in at reception and get unpacked. We'll be starting in the room at about seven o'clock, but this will be confirmed to you. And in the room, there will be us as a course team, so some familiar faces that you'll meet between now and then as well online. There'll be people like yourselves who have joined to take control of their speech. And there'll be what we call graduates there who have already done a course, at least one course, and are there to work on themselves and to help you as well. But every single person in that room has a stammer and knows exactly how you're feeling. You'll be made to feel very comfortable by both myself and Michael, the other course instructor, Matt and Luke, and just everybody in the room. On the Wednesday evening, it's basically you listening to us most of the evening. It's us introducing the programme, telling you more about what's to come over the next few days. 
there will be a little bit of speaking where we ask you some really informal questions and that's recorded, which is brilliant for you to look back on, to remember how it was for you on the first day. So that's basically the Wednesday evening on the Thursday. We start in the room around about 8 a.m. after breakfast. And again, you'll be joined by graduates and ourselves and your fellow new students. And we will be starting looking at the physical aspect of your stammer and what we can learn, what strategies we can teach you to overcome the physical barriers of a stutter. Michael will go into more detail a little bit later about the techniques that we use. But Thursday is very much physical Thursday. And really by the Thursday lunchtime, you'll be starting to speak in control. Might just be sounds and words, first of all, and then we'll gradually build it up. But on Thursday, as early as day one, or the first full day of the course, you'll actually be completely overjoyed at how just fantastic it feels for the first time possibly ever to speak in control. And we all really love to see that transformation happen. You'll be supported and encouraged and we'll celebrate every little achievement with you as well, which is lovely. The Friday, we focus very much on the psychological aspect. So how we feel, what psychological barriers that we face and what good habits can overtake the bad ones, what we can learn you to overcome, all of those feelings that we feel as people who stutter. We'll also, on the Friday, you'll go out with coaches and you'll listen to them using the techniques out in the real world. And that's quite special as well. So to take it outside of the classroom, so, so to speak. So that's really good on the Friday. And then on the Saturday, we bring it all together. We have fun. We cover everything that we've learned over the last few days. We celebrate achievements later in the day with your friends and family. And it's just an amazing finish really to the course with with you practicing in the outside world, supported by a coach as well on the Saturday. And as Matt said, really, the Maguire programme changes the lives of everyone who joins, who really wants it badly. Those who really succeed on the programme have put in the dedication and the commitment and the time and effort it takes to really get in control of your speech and you'll have the lifetime support, which I think Matt will cover later on, to help you get there. So that is about it for me. I'll hand you back to Matt. Thank you very much, Lisa. Now I'm going to show you the, the start of a first day video of, of one of the recent new graduates. So John McGann is his name, and I'm going to just play a little bit of his video. Can you tell us your full name, please? John Edward James M McGann. And what village and town do you live in, John? I live in Southville, uh, Bristol. How long have you lived there for? Um, about 18 months. Okay. So do you work or do you study? I work. And where do you work? Um, I work, I um, currently do a mix of hybrid working at the moment so I work at home three three days a week and then in the office two two days a week. Do you have any words or sounds or situations you struggle on? Yes I 
struggle to say words starting with R E. Could you give me an example of a word you struggle on? Re. Re. Remember. Can you tell us your full name, please? Okay, John. John McGann. I did the course in July 2022. But before the course, I was a covert. I would use a lot of tricks to avoid saying sounds and words that I knew I couldn't say. But after doing the course, which was hard work, but a lot of fun, a lot of my speech improved. My favorite part of the course was speaking to the, the general public and just making a number of disclosures and telling people I have a stammer. And for people I told, they were very receptive and supportive. I was very nervous beforehand, but by the end, I loved it. I've had a number of achievements since the course. Today probably was one of them. I was at a work day where I had to speak in front of 60 people. Now, before I wouldn't, I wouldn't have even have dreamt of speaking in front of that, that many people. But I volunteered and used the techniques I learned and it went well. Since the course, the support network has also been a huge help. Knowing that there are other stammerers out there has meant I don't suffer in silence anymore. John McGann. Thank you, John. Fantastic stuff. Okay, now I'm going to bring in Michael Batley, who's going to talk a bit, a bit, a little bit more about the course again. So, Michael. Michael Batley speaking. Good evening, everybody. I am another course instructor. So, working alongside Lisa. I've been on the program for 12 years. <clears throat> Previously was mainly an overt stammerer. At times could hide it, at times couldn't. Mainly was unable to hide it and struggled on a whole load of different words and sounds. So just to talk about what the course entails, it really kicks off on the Thursday. We at the Maguire program like to treat it as a war, a war on stammering. Stammer, a stutter, that's our enemy. 
and it is something that we've tried a lot to avoid. Whereas on Thursday we stand up to it and we at first treat it as a war but we focus on the physical aspects because like any competition or sport or opponent there's a physical element and a psychological element the stutter has its own weapons and in terms of the physical aspect it has freezing and struggle of the diaphragm the vocal cords and what we use to shape words and sounds and we focus on the physical weapons on that and attacking the fear which has been very high and for the first day will be very high but then gradually every session we chip away at that and as Lisa said there will be times where you will will have surprised yourself and you will be able to communicate things that you haven't been able to. We work at having control rather than fluency. Work at getting control over our speech and gradually increasing that confidence. But in order to do that, we work at the psychological aspect. On the Friday, we learn how to be assertive, but also assertively advertise ourselves. And by the end of that, there'll be times where you find yourself wanting to get up, wanting to challenge yourself, wanting to push yourself, wanting to defeat your stutter. And throughout the day, you'll be surprising yourself. On the Saturday, there's opportunity to bring it all together, let go and start to have a lot of fun speaking and as coaches and instructors we enjoy that because we get to see people speaking with smiles on their faces compared to the Wednesday where people are not really wanting to do that and not really wanting to answer them questions and wishing they were somewhere else but that's the hardest part of the whole course hardest part of the three days that's where we take it into the real world and expand your comfort zones but when we ask you to expand your comfort zones that's when we think you're ready and we never push anybody if we don't think they're ready and at that point you will be feeling ready you'll have coaches with you every step of the way, people who have been in your shoes right from the off and right to the end. And there's opportunity to learn what comes after because that's when the hard work starts, but you'll be made well aware of that on the Saturday but by then you will have built up your armory, built up your weapons, built up your confidence, and you'll be raring to go, absolutely. But I look forward to seeing you on there. Michael Batley. Thank you, Michael. Great stuff. Okay, now I'm going to play a, a first day video of under 18 so that I know there's some under 18s that are going to be joining the, the program in Newcastle so 
we're lucky to have Hasin speaking tonight. So play a little bit of his video. Could you tell me your name, please? Um, oh, I'm, um, I, I, I'm Hasin. Farouk. Thank you very much, Hasin. Where do you live? Um, I live in Watford. Could you tell me the names of the people you live with, please? I, I, I live in. I, I live with um, Zena, Shami, Zaheen, and Liana. Hasim Fabuk speaking. So that video was taken in April 2021 in my first course in the Easter holidays. I was in year nine then, that was two years ago. I'm now in year 11 in, 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 in secondary school. school. School back then was quite quite tough for me personally. I had a few... Uh, social issues. I, I had a few people who would torment me sometimes. Uh, my teachers were quite quite nice. They always understood, but school was still still difficult. I always managed to make friends, but these these friends were quite these friends were quite how do I say this? They weren't always so nice. They they would sometimes make fun of my stammer so I wouldn't be able to make proper friends as such and when I would go outside or go and get something to eat it would always be a a challenge something I would dread so that's something I really wanted to turn around I I was always almost annoyed that people around me could speak properly there was that real sense of despair that I was the one who was chosen almost by by God to to live with a stammer and that was really difficult for me it was really annoying I'd been in previous courses and nothing nothing had worked I I kind of gave up all hope I thought I'd have to live through life being a different person to who I was I could never really share my ideas in class I did have good ideas but I would just keep quiet and let other people say the ideas I couldn't speak how I wanted I always put in filler words so my sentences weren't quite how I meant them to be they always they always had a slightly different meaning so I I decided I I would try the course my mom found it actually she she said she said it looked really good so I thought I'd I'd give it a try I was really fearful about the contact the contact part actually I was okay with the first two days of physical and mental teaching that was fine they were long you wake up have breakfast start the course there's a short break for lunch then back into it and you have time for dinner and a bit of a rest before bed but the the hours are long the course is is hard but the worst part for me with the the hardest part for me was the contact session where we would go out and speak to strangers I, I, I dreaded that. I, I would think about that every night before I went to bed. And although it was the difficult part for me, I think it was actually, I think it was actually the most useful part. I, I got the best experience from that. I went to Oxford Circus with my, my coach, Callum. He was, he was really helpful. And we started off quite, quite small. I didn't at first disclose my stammer. I'd asked people for direction, so I felt a bit more confident that way. And using the techniques, I, I think I spoke quite well. And then over time, I began to slip, slip in disclosures. And that gradual movement towards that made me confident. I was fearful that, you know, the first, the first step I took out of the station would be, would be marred with some, with, with me failing. So, I was quite, I was quite pleased almost that I wouldn't go straight into it but by the end I was I was able to make disclosures quite quite well I was quite happy with myself 
and I even do that now sometimes just to keep the practice up. That was that was really good. So after the course, I went back to school, and I began disclosing. I began disclosing to my teachers and friends as well. And the funny thing was that they all knew that I had a stammer. It was blaringly obvious. It was just such a such a taboo subject almost. I didn't want to talk about it. I didn't want to actually tell them I had one, even though they knew it. It was so weird because they were kind of relieved that I told them because then they felt more comfortable talking about it with me. They could converse with, with me about it, my experiences. Previously, they, they just avoided it because I was not talking about it either. So I was not, I was not telling them anything new disclosing my stammer. I was just opening it up for conversation, I guess. I felt so much more free. I could, I could discuss things freely. And they would understand when I took my time sometimes with sentences. I could, I could use the, I could use the techniques freely. I was, I was able to go outside, uh, order food much more easily. I made presentations, shared ideas. School had just become that much easier. Life had become that much easier. There is still effort you need to put in in now. The, the support groups are in, are the support groups, are important. It's important to also regularly call your your coaches. One of them, as I said, was was Callum, and I have a second one called Lokesh as well. They're they're really helpful. They're the ones who set me up, I guess, after the course. They gave me the advice. They told me what to do. You know, they were they were they were really there for me. So I owe that to them. And you'll have your own coaches as well. So look forward to that. Yeah. Thank you, Hasin. That's brilliant. Okay, now I'm going to play you a a, a short video. Um, a girl called Amara who's going to be speaking shortly. It's going to be the first part of it is when she was trying to read, being a school teacher before the Maguire program, and then there'll be a bit afterwards as well where you'll be able to tell the difference I would imagine between what what she was like before and after and then she'll come and say a few words okay Amara Hussain. <clears throat> the first video was me recording myself reading for a job interview two years ago and the second bit was me reading a story to my class yesterday. My first course was April last year, so just over a year ago. And one of the main reasons why I joined the programme was because it was, my stammer was affecting my career. I got to a point where I didn't 
want to be a teacher anymore. It was one of my passions, but I just couldn't speak. So I thought I couldn't do it. And then I joined the programme last year, which has completely changed my life, as I'm sure you can tell from the video. The person or the teacher I was, Fee Maguire, is completely different to the teacher I am now, and not just in reading. Reading was one of my biggest fears, and the thought of opening a book gave me anxiety and the thought of someone listening to me read was really, really difficult. So from going from that person who hated reading to now reading about three books every day as a teacher, it's actually really nice to finally be the teacher that I've always wanted to be and one of my goals is to carry on raising that awareness in schools of stammering because like Haseen said it is a taboo subject and I never spoke about it as a teacher pre Maguire until I joined the program and everyone in my school knows that I stammer all the teachers all the pupils and I guess it's given me the voice to be the teacher I've always wanted to be and I always knew that I wanted to be that teacher but I just couldn't because my stammer held me back so I can I can now speak teach and have fun and be a big kid with the children I teach and let go speaking which is something I never thought I could do so yeah the program has not only changed my life outside of the outside of my career but it's also changed my career and my my job and I can now be the teacher I've always wanted to be so yeah I hope that if you do decide to go go to the Newcastle course make the most of it and follow instructions directions and you can also reap the rewards of having fun speaking Amara Hussain thank you thank you Amara Thank you so much. It's great to hear these stories. So yeah, that that nearly concludes our webinar for today. Just want to touch on the after support because it has been mentioned a few times by a few of us, but it is the absolute importance that if you do do the Maguire course, that you think seriously about embracing the whole of the after support there's so much of it and the Maguire program really really wants you to take this on board before you join if you decide to just attend the course and just do the three days and that's it then really you know you're wasting your time and your money because you need to be embracing this I've needed the support network after my first course. I needed to ring my coaches for support. I needed to go to my support groups and to go on to future courses because that's how it just helped me to continue to learn the techniques and to break down the fear. And after the course, you are allocated two primary coaches each, which you speak to every day for the first few weeks and then often thereafter as well. There's also daily Zoom sessions for the two weeks after the course, which we highly recommend you attend. And there is all the different groups that we have, online support and face-to-face, -face, as well as the returning, the, the returning courses, which we would really want you to be doing. 
So do bear that in mind. It is vast. The phone list is huge. It's around the world. It's international. So there will be people that can speak your native language if it's not English as well for you to practice that. Yeah, so the door is really open to you to be able to really take control of your speech long term and not just short term. OK, I think that's it. There's no comments in the comments bar as loads of positive ones, which is really nice. So thank you very much for that. But no questions, as I can see. So I just want to say thank you to the, the panel that have been here today. It's been fantastic. I hope you've got a lot from it. If you have got any questions or do want to apply for any courses, just go to the website, as you know, the maguireprogram.com. But yeah, thank you, everyone, and see you soon. Bye for now.